hi everyone uh, welcome back to my channel if you're viewing this for the first time my name is Lillian I work as a registered nurse here in the UK and today's video we are going to be discussing on how to monitor blood glucose level and uh, I'll be showing you step by step on how to do it uh, for all my existing subscribers thank you for always being here and welcome on board everyone blood glucose levels are measurements that are found in your blood um, and we get this uh, glucose or sugars by what we eat or drink or in simple terms what we consume in our body so guys there are two ways that you can use to check for blood glucose level first one is by finger prick test which is very common and another one is flash glucose monitor this is like a sensor that's put on your body to 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 sense for blood glucose so in today's video i will be focusing more on the finger prick test how to test your blood glucose level number one prepare your kit ready for testing a blood glucose meter a glucose test strip and have a ketone strip ready just in case you need it a lancing device a cotton wool or tissue a sharp bin a diary or notebook just to record the results number two maintain hand hygiene that is wash and dry your hands this is to ensure that the results is not influenced by any food or other substance that may be present on your fingers. Number three, ensure that the finger pricking device has been loaded with a new lancet. Number four, put a test strip into your meter. Number five, prick your finger with the lancing device at the sides of the finger as there are less nerve ending here than at the tips the world health organization recommends the middle or the ring fingers are to be used for blood glucose tests that's the second and the third fingers You may need to squeeze your finger just a little for blood to appear. Number six, when blood appears, check the meter is ready and then transfer the blood onto the test strip and wait a few seconds. Most meters these days provide a result within 10 seconds or even sooner. Number seven, if the test is unsuccessful, please repeat from step four. Number eight, if the test is successful, clean any blood off your finger with the cotton wool or a tissue if necessary. Number nine, dispose of the test strip and ensure that the lancet used is put into a sharp bin. Number 10, record the results in a monitoring diary or your notebook so it's best practice when you record your results in your diary or your notebook include the date the time and the blood sugar readings that's pre and post pre means like before breakfast or before lunch or before dinner and then post means after after you've had something to eat knowing your blood glucose levels is very important as it helps you to manage your diabetes and also reduces the risks of having serious health complications and also helps you to maintain a healthy diet if in any doubt or worries or concerns about monitoring of your blood glucose levels 
please always ask your healthcare professionals and they will always advise you, guide you and support you. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments section what other type of videos that you'd like me to demonstrate. And uh, please remember to hit that notification bell so that every time I post a video, you'll be notified. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now. Bye.